Hey guys, this is Hafiz. Today I'm going to show you guys uh, how to prime um, a reefer unit. Uh, yesterday, one of my driver he dropped me a reefer trailer with empty tanks, and the reefer unit was running, so um, it ran out of fuel, and I'm stuck with this problem today. So I'm going to uh, start this unit and. Uh, uh, show you guys how to do the prime on this it's very easy uh, first of all you have to do is uh, fill up your tanks and uh, make sure they're full and uh, the next step is open the reefer door and uh, you'll see a couple things here <coughs> This bolt right here, you have to open this one, and uh, this is pump right here that you can open from here, and this thing right here, when you're priming it, make sure it's all the way to the left side, right? So first thing is, make sure it's all the way on the left side, unscrew this bolt and then you pump this and uh, if it don't work then the next thing we're gonna do is open the bottom bolt and there is a screen in there that we have to clean you can see right here it's a pump so there is a bolt right here if you open that one there's a screen inside it that you have to clean and uh, mm, and you repeat the same process again if you open this part all the fuel will go back to the fuel tank so if you don't want that to happen I don't know if we should try that but it's too hard if we bend it it won't go back but I don't want to do that so I better just uh, make sure that I clean it and put it back and then I prime the <coughs> reefer again and once I prime it I will make sure that it's all the way to the right side like make it tight and then close this one right here the fuel pump and then close the bolt let me show you how we're gonna do that make sure your reefer is off and uh, You see bubbles, I mean still some air in there. <clears throat> I feel it a little bit harder now you can see it's not going all the way in so I'm going to tie this one it's the third time I'm going to try alright now before I start it, I'm going to try another thing this time, which is starting fuel. So I'm going to find a, a filter, air filter, where I had to spray it. You can see in this reefer, so the exhaust pipe going out, and a small ring right here, if you can see. 
right here I'm gonna spray in there do not get started While I was trying to get it started, I think my battery is low. So I'm going to try one more time. So I'm just uh, going to get a jump start from my truck because the batteries are low on the reefer. As you can see, I just made a connection with my truck so I can charge my battery because uh, I think my other driver tried so many times and uh, the battery is all the way down now. So, there we go. I'm going to let it charge for like a couple minutes and uh, try to start it again. I already tried a couple times to start this reefer but it didn't work so um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to open this uh, bottom line from this I already opened that so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do next so this disconnect this bolt Don't drop anything. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt in there. So I'm going to clean this one. And you can see the filter. Just clean this screen and uh, try my best to clean it. So I'm going to put it back where it belongs to. So Okay, so the next step is to do the prime again. It's going to take a little bit longer this time. guys I got it started so once you get it started this is a uh, RPM right here I 
I made sure it's tight. This bolt is tight. As you can see, my refill is running. And uh, I hope this uh, video will help you guys. So just uh, follow the simple step, make sure the refill is off. And uh, also make sure that the fuel tank is full. And the third thing is you have to do prime. And uh, uh, if it don't work, then there's a screen at the bottom of the fuel pump that you have to open and you know clean that and put it back prime again if it still don't work then uh, 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 repeat the same process a couple times and I uh, hope it will work for you that happened with me so many times and uh, uh, luckily I got succeeded only one time I had to go to the mechanic because my fuel pump was uh, bad at that time and it was not uh, pumping right so he have to put some air into the tanks, which I'm going to show you right now. You see this fuel tank right here? And if you look at it, there is a small... Yeah, so you just stick a air hose in there and make sure it just fill a little bit, not too much because you're going to blow the tank. So because the tank is full so you just give a little bit of pressure and uh, that pressure is gonna help fuel to go into the fuel lines and uh, prime it quicker we all set 